Not many people know about these plugins, but trust me, the ones that know them, they keep it a secret. <laughs> except for me. Hello everyone and welcome back, Dom here and on this video I'm going to show you my six favorite bus compressors. The compressors that when you add them to your master bus they make your song sound like a record. Right after this. So like I said, today I'm going to show you my favorite bus compressors. And I have six, but maybe I'll have a bonus one in the end. Now, what is bus compression? That's a big subject. There's so much information out there. But basically, if you don't know, bus compression is a compressor that you add at your stereo out on your master bus that will be applied on the entire mix. And basically, the purpose is to glue everything together. And this is one of the things that you might want to do if you want to make your tracks sound coherent, sound together, and if you want all your elements to come together and be a unified, coherent mix. Now, one of the most popular bus compressors ever known to mankind is the SSL bus compressor, but there's also the API 25000, there's the Neve 33609, and there are more modern devices like the Thermionic Culture compressors, the Shadow Heels compressors really really cool so today i'm going to show you my favorite ones and in the end i will have my favorite cubase one so stick around and if you haven't subscribed to the channel now is the time please subscribe it really helps me make more videos for you and hit that like button if you enjoy this video okay let's start the first one you know that's not going to be a surprise for you but it's the ssl bus compressor and this is the actual one from ssl so let's have a listen first without it and then i'm going to introduce it So as you can hear, it's the ultimate glue. It glues everything together. And even though the loudness has not increased, if you check the meters, I'm trying to kind of level match. You get this feeling that the mix is sitting nicely. All the instruments are part of a single package, right? Nothing sticks out. And this is not a mixed track, by the way. This is really, really not mixed. But you can hear what kind of quality you can expect from an SSL style compressor. So. Listen to the low end. A little bit disconnected. And obviously there are many settings that you can use on the SSL compressor. In my case, my favorite settings are 30 milliseconds of attack, relatively fast release, it depends on the tempo of the track, I want to see the needle dancing, threshold until I compress around 2 dBs and ratio 4 to 1. And sometimes I go for the auto setting where it's compressing for most of the time and you get a different sound there. This is great for rock music. For this kind of music I like to keep the vibe, so I like to see the needle move. And sometimes I even like to add a high pass filter so that I let the low end come through. but it enhances the drums. I love this compressor. Let's move on to the next one, which 
is, by the way, another SSL style compressor. And this is from Plugin Alliance. It's the BX Townhouse bus compressor. And I like to have both of them because they give me a very different sound. Let's play it. Filter. For this one, for example, I like having a shorter attack. It gives me a nice snap. Check it out. See? Check the attacks. So, to me, it gives me a different sound. It's a little bit more punchy, this one, but sometimes it works better on different material. Sometimes the SSL works better. I recommend them both. Let's go to the third one. And the third one is a very different beast. This is the Shadow Heels compressor and this is a beast like even just the power supply of the real unit is just massive i don't remember how many slots it takes on your rack but just it's a beast and i've used the actual thing for a long long time and this is a very different kind of compressor you have an optical compressor first and then you have a discrete circuit after this it allows you to kind of sweeten the sound first and then be a little bit more drastic let's listen optical And of course it has the nickel, it has the iron, it has the steel settings here. So each one of these give you a different flavor because it emulates the transformers. Actually, I like using this a lot as a parallel compressor. Sometimes I go a little bit drastic with it, with the threshold, and then I mix it in. Check it out. But for most of the part, I like to just touch the needle there. Very, very interesting sound. Completely different if you ask me to the SSL style compression 
and uh, it's a great color to have. This I like to use also for like ballads, for acoustic stuff, because it can be very gentle or it can completely slam your mix if you want to. Now let's move on to the next one. Now the next one, compressor number four, is the AR1 from Kush. This is a vintage variable mu tube compressor, completely different sound, but it sounds lovely. Check it out. Listen to the kick drums. And the one thing that I like about this compressor is that it has the tone control here, which gives you a lot of tone shaping options. Let's listen. High pass filter. Let's go drastic. Do you hear how much color it adds? How many harmonics? Listen to the mid-range, the low mid-range as well. Also listen to the snares, the attack, the body of the snare. So again, amazing, really beautiful, very different sound. This is actually one of the compressors that I would use in conjunction with another compressor. It's really, really nice to have this color. This is really, really colorful. Uh, I would say up to this point, maybe it's the most colorful compressor. But then you have to be careful when you want to use this color, okay? Because it might not work for any material given. Now, let's move on to the fifth compressor, which is, I mean, you know this by now, I love my Neves, and uh, this is the Portico 5043 compressor. And this is great for vocals, it's great for bass, it's great for guitar, it's great for pretty much everything. It's pretty much what I'm recording on right now. You're hearing this sound of this compressor on my voiceover, on my Portico 2 channel, but I find that it works really well as a bass compressor. It's really beautiful. So let's listen to it.
again, the mix acquires a brand new quality with it. It's a very different sound again, and for this one we also have feed back and feed forward. Okay, so if I try the feed forward, it's a little bit more aggressive. More punchy, check it out. And the one thing that really comes out with this compressor, in my opinion, is, first of all, I don't know if they've modeled any of the transformers that you get with these Portico series, but it sounds to me like the low mids and the low end becomes a little bit more assertive. And I also find that the vocals come up front. They become a little bit more prominent and a little bit more... You know, what you'd expect from a master track, you know, they sit very well, even in the context of a mix that's pretty much not really a mix, it's almost a mix right now. But check it out, check it out. Listen to the vocals. See how they come forward? Let's go for the feedback again. They also acquire this kind of sheen, okay? So, this is really good 5043 it's my secret weapon for a lot of things not many people know about these plugins but trust me the ones that know them they keep it a secret <laughs> except for me okay next one is again a neve emulation this is the t-rex precision compressor and limiter and this is obviously a neve 33609 clone it sounds very very close to the original because i've used the original a lot it gives you the same kind of vibe even when you turn it on without compressing anything so let me try this actually okay let's compress So as you can hear, a very, very different character. I mean, the 33609 is my personal favorite bus compressor when it comes to pianos, things that are really hard to compress. Acoustic pianos, in my opinion, is one of the hardest instruments to compress. And the 33609 is my favorite compressor for pianos, for orchestral music. When it comes to like um, trailer music, film music, you know, anything that needs something to make everything a little bit sweeter so that nothing sticks out in a bad way. The 33609 has this creamy, almost gooey kind of compression that you don't really hear. It's not the most um, punchy compressor, if you ask me, but that's not what you use it for. It excels in ballads, in acoustic material, anything that you want to just touch the needle and make it sound really, really beautiful. So the T-Rex is a very, very good emulation for this. And last but not least, I have a bonus compressor, which is a built-in compressor in Cubase, and this is the Tube Compressor. And I love this on the Master Bus. I wanted to show you at least one stock plugin today, and this is actually one of my favorite bus compressors when it comes to single band bus compressors, of course. So let's listen 
to the tube compressor. And again, you can hear the lovely character that comes out of the tube compressor. The low mids become a little bit more full. The entire track becomes a little bit inflated. Let's listen. Character. And it has a very nice release response. You know, see the needle, it really, really works in a very musical way. Let's turn it off and see what sounds we can achieve. I particularly like the auto release on this compressor. I think it fares very, very well compared to the third party compressors that I showed you up to this point. Now I'm going to play with the drive a little bit because this is where the fun begins with this compressor. Again, this track is not properly mixed, so if I had mixed it, I would probably be able to get away with more aggressive settings, but let's listen. High ratio. The high ratio can really give you some interesting tones. If you know how to use it carefully, you can get some really, really punchy mixes. So these are my favorite bus compressors. Obviously I have a lot more and I think I'm forgetting some and uh, maybe I'm gonna do a follow-up video if you guys are interested and if you like this sort of videos. I know that many of you make good use of the stock Cubase plugins but I know that sometimes you might need a different flavor. The reason is color. The reason is a little bit of a different behavior that every plugin and every processor can give me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below which compressor was your favorite because I'd really like to know. I really love to geek out about these things. Let me know which one you preferred. So until next time, have fun and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.